Hey YouTube, this is Saffron DP Frell. I need to turn that camera, uh, the TV down a bit. What the hell? Um, this is a video of me talking about um, movies I'm going to be looking forward to this year. Um, the b big one that's on top of my list. Don't worry, this is only free movies. Um, the top one I'm looking forward to is Red State. Written and directed by Kevin Smith. And if you don't know who Kevin Smith is, which is kind of like, if you're a geek and you don't know him, you're not a geek at all. Um, well, not a good one. Uh, he directed the Kirk's, the Clerks movies, and he's written some comic books. Most of them are, I hear they're really good, and they're serious, so, from what I'm told. Um, and this is his first horror movie, and from the trailer, it looks good. And you have some really cool actors in there. Um, you have Melissa Leo, John Goodman, the kid from Forbidden Kingdom and Sky High. And, and I love John Goodman, man. I, I love him in The Big Lebowski. Um, this is basically... Bunch of, I hear it's basically about a bunch of kids, uh, teenagers, college students, whatever, um, get uh, kidnapped or whatever by a crazy church that's basically supposed to be like, a t basically a crazy version of Westboro Church and Fred Phelps. So that's you have a great store right there and I and I hear they had some they had some screenings of it for critics at a sm the Smog uh, Castle not sure where that is but whatever it's uh, sorry never mind never mind and it's supposed to be really good and well there's mixed reviews some people say it sucks uh, some people say it's great I I don't know but I'm looking forward to it and okay uh, another one I'm looking forward to is Insidious it stars uh, Patrick Wilson he's one of my favorite actors uh, ever. He was in Watchmen. And it's directed by James Wan and written by uh, Leia Wannell, who uh, Le Leia Wannell I can't, I don't know how to spell his name, spell, uh, say his name. Um, he wrote the, the Saw movies and uh, James Wan directed the first one. And the, say what you will about the Saw series but the first one was great. Then it went then it got like okay who cares um but it was really well written but then as you go the thing is uh they that saw series that's not something that shouldn't have been a series at all that should have been like two movie two or three movies but they keep doing the open ended shit and yeah even the last one which was supposed to be the last one, it was open-ended. Oh my god. Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to this movie, because James Wan, he's an awesome movie, awesome movies, like Dead Silence, uh, Death Sentence, and I think that's about it, besides from this one. And, uh, and it's basically about, like, it's supposed to be like a, ha a haunting movie, like a haunted movie. Um, but, you know, the, the problem with a lot of haunted movies, like, the house is haunted, why don't they just move? And apparently, they fix, they fix that, if you watch the trailer. Um, and, I am, I am looking forward to this movie. It's going to be awesome. Now, there's a problem, uh, with this movie that, uh, well, we haven't seen it yet. But apparently, uh, it's supposed to be PG-13, and you know what? That's not really a problem for me, because you can still have a great horror movie that's scary, and have it be like PG-13, P uh, PG-14, whatever 14 is. Um, 
Cause look, cause drag you to hell, drag me to hell. That was an awesome horror movie, and it was f what 14A, and it was scary as hell. There's a difference between. Uh, a lot of people think for like to have a good horror movie, it has to be uh, gory as hell, and you know what? There's a difference between being disgusted by a movie and being scared of it. And you know what? I want a scary movie, and this looks like it's going to be a scary movie. So I am looking forward to it. Okay, the next one on my list is Don't Be Afraid of the Dark, directed by Troy Nixley. I don't know. Or is it is it Nixley? I can't. I'll write it down. Uh, written by Guillermo, Guillermo del Toro. He directed and written the Hellboy movies. Now, I love the Hellboy movies, even though a lot of people say... Eh, that, well, some people don't like it, but I do. Um, second one was the, my favorite, uh, and it's also written by Matthew Robbins. This movie, it's um, basically the story behind it is a little girl. Her parents are divorced, and the little girl is sent to live with her dad and his new girlfriend and apparently she encounters monsters and like little monsters just watch the trailer and it's creepy as hell it's pretty scary and there's this like huge there's this one jump scare and I actually jumped I was like holy fuck the first time I saw it um, don't know when that's supposed to get released uh, and see this is going to be released April 1st which I don't know if that that's a real release date or not, but whatever. Uh, Red State's supposed to go in for years in October 19th. And don't be afraid of the dark. I'm going to check it again. Why I did not write it down, I don't know. Do, 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 do. It's loading because my internet is super slow, even though it's high speed internet. And I even upgraded it so it would be faster. Eh. Oh, uh, Katie Holmes is in it, by the way. And, S and Guy Pierce is in it also, who's an awesome actor, but I don't know what's happened to his career lately. And, uh, yeah, Guy Pierce plays the dad. Um,. It already has, it It comes out in August 13th, and it already has a range. People have wrote, uh, rated it, uh, uh, 7.4, which, out of 10, which is, that's, that's good. <sighs> so I'm, I'm looking forward to this movie, because I, I know people say, uh, when it comes to Guillermo de Toro's, Ryan, when it comes to, like, American stuff, isn't as, like, isn't as good as his Spanish stuff, or is not good in general, I think is bullshit. Uh, but then again, there's another writer there, so, you know, that, that, to fix whatever mistakes Guillermo del Toro does. Uh, holy shit, guy, guy Pierce is English? I didn't know that. Wow. So that's all I gotta say. These are the horror movies I'm looking forward to. Uh, see you later, YouTube.